Now, if you go on Solar Impulse, we have uh, Willem. Willem, hello. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. Can you uh, can you hear me all right? Can hear you and see you fine, Willem. I'd just like to say that uh, uh, Robert John and I first uh, met the Solar Impulse guys. Uh, changed now in Paris, uh, uh, end of January, a very different time. We're absolutely delighted with the level of engagement we've had from Solar Impulse since then. Um, uh, we were completely fascinated by the story of your founder and, and completely taken also with your aims um, and uh, really pleased that you could join us here today. And I'd love to hear a little bit more uh, about Solar Impulse Foundation from you, Willem, and uh, uh, Robert will drive those slides for you at your command. Over to you. Thank you very much, Andrew. And um, uh, I, I'll, I'll try to be brief given the time frame uh, to, uh, to, to answer to that uh, sort of uh, prelude that you just uh, gave. Um, I won't be obviously able to go into much detail, but um, if you just go to the to the sort of first slide, um, uh, firstly, of course, I want to thank you um, as Greenbackers, but also all the people that presented, because one of our missions is really to highlight all the great stuff that's happening out there, which very often is not known enough. Um, and especially today, because we find ourselves in bizarre and difficult times, which are very thought provoking. Um, why is that? Because what was thought to be impossible suddenly seems very real. And I'm, of course, alluding to a truly global pandemic, but also to the sort of instantaneous review of our modes of work, working from home, new business models that get tipped upside down in, in, the, in a matter of weeks. Even this very event is an example of that. And I really congratulate you for the swift action to put something together that's very, very, um, uh, very, very well put together and very meaningful and helpful for the whole ecosystem. Um, we've seen governments, you know, being slow, um, uh, traditionally now being very proactive and announcing stringent measures without precedent. And of course, human creativity, which is unleashed into new forms, um, as well as social cohesion and solidarity springing up. And all of that a few months ago, in many respects, would have been thought to be impossible. And if you go to the next slide, um, I can use that to illustrate the fact that, um, you know, this notion of impossibility being actually very possible um, is something very close to the solar impulse ecosystem, because this very um, journey around the world in a solar airplane was deemed impossible by many, and yet um, Bertrand Picard challenged them um, doing it anyways, flying across the world without uh, pollution um, and sitting in this cockpit uh, with his sole um, source of energy being the sun, really dreaming a sort of science fiction future dream, but actually realizing that it's not a future dream at all. It's the reality of today showing what the technologies of today can do. And of course, it's an extreme situation. One man in one airplane, but an impossible feed proof possible only becomes really meaningful if we use its legacy to make a lasting impact on the world. And if you go to the next slide, that's really what we've tr we're trying to do and to incarnate in the Solar Impulse Foundation, which is to challenge the status quo that growth needs to be dirty, that growth cannot go hand in hand um, with protection of the environment, that economy and environment cannot go hand in hand. And this uh, status quo bias, perhaps you all here today have left it behind, but so many people haven't, so many governments, businesses, and even investors haven't. And, and that's why we set out to identify and evaluate a, a thousand solutions, not a hundred or two hundred, but a thousand solutions that can actually protect the environment, but in an economically viable way. And these are solutions in water, in energy, in mobility, in infrastructure, in circular economy, all these solutions that can not only create jobs, but also raise the quality of life and actually trigger a clean qualitative growth rather than the quantitative one that we've seen up until today in many respects. Um, and whilst this is the higher sort of mission to demonstrate that possibility to empower governments to be more ambitious, we use the, the label that we've devised and the network that we've set up to 
support the solutions that get this label by introducing them to public authorities, to investors, to corporates, to network partners, and to generate event and pitching opportunities um, similar to the one uh, happening today. So I, I want to leave it at that. Um, and just maybe if you just go to the final slide, conclude on... Uh, on an invitation, which is an invitation to, to if you are an innovator, because I've seen some amazing stories today, to, to also join and apply for the Solar Impulse label. If you're an investor, you're also welcome to ping me a note, and I'm happy to tell you more. Um, but I'm also really, really happy that we're working together with green backers to make the ecosystem grow and prosper. Thank you very much. Well, um, thank you very much indeed. Um, a great, very brief uh, snapshot in, into the foundation. We, we absolutely love what you're doing. And I would just highlight that uh, in the second slide, I believe it was got probably the best selfie ever taken by anybody in the world uh, from that uh, Solar Impulse Foundation. I don't know if you clocked uh, that, that was a selfie, but I would urge you to go onto the website and find it because it's just amazing. Uh, we're delighted also to be working with you, Wilhelm, and your colleagues and wish you success. I believe you have an online pitching event yourselves later on today um, and very much uh, wish you great success with that. And thank you very much for joining with us today. Appreciate it. Thank you.